Cubase can indicate multiple time formats within a project, whether it's bars and beats, seconds, time code, or samples. We can see the primary time display indicated at the top of the project window, and that can be changed by simply right-clicking and choosing seconds, time code, or samples, like so. Within our transport, we can see our primary time display here for the playhead position on the cursor. If I wanted to see this in different formats, I can click here and choose seconds, time code, or samples. And with this, we have a secondary time format that could be shown by dragging this over to the right. And this will be set to bars and beats, and this will be seconds. And if I wanted to exchange those two formats, I could hit the period key on a computer keyboard near the space bar. So I could see seconds, bars and beats, and toggle back and forth where necessary. At times, we may want to see different time representations in different parts of a project, and we could do this using ruler tracks. So for my video track, if I want to see a time representation set to time code, I can add a ruler track, and we'll change the time display format here to time code. For my MIDI track, I wanted to have a ruler track that indicated bars and beats. For my audio, I may want to have a ruler track that indicates seconds. And I may want to have yet one more ruler track that indicates samples. So now, as I scroll through my project, I can have my time represented in different formats where I need to see it. Now, one of the great handy tricks in Cubase is the ability of selecting the master time display here at the top and holding down the left mouse button and moving the mouse straight up and down to zoom. You could also do this directly from a ruler track. So click in the ruler track, hold the left mouse button down, move the cursor up and down. So as you can see, for different types of tracks, you may want to see different time representations. You may want to toggle the time representation, but you have all these very powerful capabilities inside of Cubase. If you found this video helpful, please feel free to like the video and to subscribe to the channel.